Hello, hello, queens. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. In this video, I will be doing a planner reveal and unboxing some happy mail. If that is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. <music> Hi guys first i want to start this video off by saying happy new year i hope you guys been having a great year y'all everything has been lovely my way i've been working on a lot of projects so that is why i am late getting this video up but i am so ready to get to it so first i am going to start with um let's do my planner reveal because i want y'all to see this i know Y'all don't be staying through the whole video, but I want I want y'all to see what I, I didn't work on. Okay, guys, here is my baby. Um, this is um a new addition, an upgrade from my budget by paycheck planner workbook. But yeah, this is an um a kind of an upgrade. I did Diamond Ambition. I did change the name of it because the last one was Budget by Paycheck, the Diamond Plan. Because you guys know I love my diamonds. I love, love my diamonds. Um, But I did this one as a budget and lifestyle planner. The ones that I'm releasing, they are not the budget and lifestyle planner. They're just a budget workbook. But it has most of everything in there i just took out a few things and i will let you know what i did take out but i did create this cover everyone knows my favorite color is purple and then i added my diamonds here i'm going to zoom in so you guys can get a closer look all right guys so we're gonna jump right into it this is my diamond ambition budget and lifestyle planner i created this um off of my last book my budget by paycheck the diamond plan and i just decided that i wanted to turn this into a planner and an actual planner. i'm not gonna say a planner but an actual planner with the tabs in it y'all this has been a goal of mine for a couple of years to go to want to do it but i went ahead and i took the leap and i started it just like i started one last year but i stopped because i allowed fear of no one purchasing my book to stop me but this time i'm going full fledged i am releasing this planner along with some other ones that i am actually currently working on so let's get into talking about this one like i mentioned before it has a lot of things that was in my budget by paycheck book and i will grab that real quick so you guys can see what i'm talking about just in case you don't know so this is the original book, My Budget by Paycheck. I didn't put my name on the front of here this time, and I'm not sure why, guys. And it was my intentions. I know I made a cover with my name on it, but I think I just, I don't know what I did. But let's get into it. This cover was created by me. It is my favorite color. These little spots right here are diamonds. I'm going to see if you guys can see, if I can put it closer and you guys can see if it's a diamond. Yeah, but I don't think y'all can see <laughs> that it's a diamond, but we're, gonna, we're not going to waste too much time on it. So let's get into this diamond ambition. So I, like I said, I created the cover and then I also went ahead and added silver metal for the binding. Y'all know I love my gold, but gold did not go with these diamonds with these diamonds at all. So I wasn't even going to try try it. But that is why I have my silver in case some of y'all are talking about me and my gold. Because y'all know I love gold. Um, but we're not going to talk about this outside too long, even though it's beautiful. I can sit up and look at it all day. And I know y'all know it's beautiful. Um, we're going to flip right into it. So I did this planner belongs to and up here I have my logo, which is key Nicole planner. I didn't put currency queen budgets on this because I originally started key Nicole planner two years ago. And that's just something that I decided to use to stay branded with my planners. 
So just in case you guys wondering, what is Key Nicole Planner? Yeah, that is mine and in an LLC and everything. So this right here is just my copyright page. I feel like I should have put something up here instead of leaving it blank. But yeah, we already to this part. So um, here it says, hello, gorgeous. And then it's a cute little letter from me. It's a thank you letter, y'all, from me. And then I have my signature. Then I have my Key Nicole Planner. And then I put Currency Queen budgets under here just so you guys know that it, it is me. Um, and then I put my social media handles here. So you can connect with me once you get your planner on all of my social media platforms. So y'all guys know I had to add my butterfly and my sunflowers in here because those are my two favorite things in the world. Butterflies and sunflowers. Okay, so we're going to flip this page. Here you have two sides where it explains to you how to use your planner here. And then here I have um, year at a glance for 2023 and 2024. Here I did it a little different. This is where I kind of switched it up. I put a letter to myself and here is just a box where you will actually write a letter to your future self and you would just basically write down, you know, something to encourage yourself in the future, you know. We all had those moments where you say, man, if I knew then what I know right now. So just write something down to keep you motivated, cheered up, or say something good to yourself. Just, I mean, if it's just like, hey, I knew you can do, I knew you could do this. I knew you would reach all your goals. I knew, basically, keep yourself motivated to keep going and look back on this at the end of the year at the end of the year or the start of next year, you know, when once you finish this book, go back and look at that and read it and see how far you've gotten, how far you've grown. And then I just put a mini vision board here. I know um, most vision boards are larger, but some people like to write their things down because I am one of them. I write everything down and I also have a vision board as well with everything that I've written down. But being that this is a budget budget book, I know some people don't won't even use this. So I did just I made it small, but I put down here what my future looks like. You can write it in here if you want to. If you want to get pictures and just make them smaller, just get your pictures and make them a little bit smaller. But you guys know we're going to move over here to the books to read because you guys know I am a bookworm as well. And I like to read books because um, I feel like knowledge is power. Don't get me wrong. I ain't going to say I feel like it. I know knowledge is power. But I do feel like to be financially literate, you must read and learn how money works and how to make your money grow and how to make your money work for you. And then down here, I just put down one of my favorite quotes. Um, then over here. I have my plan. So this is basically your why. You're going to put your why. You start in your budget journey. So I have uh, my why, ways I can make more money, and what I can stop to save extra money. Okay, your why. Because you're tired of living from paycheck to paycheck. Your um, ways you can make more money. You can start some kind of side hustle or you know pick up a part-time job. Ways you can ways I can stop spending. No, ways I can stop what I can. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm reading it and I guess I can't read what I can stop to save extra money. Eating out. Getting your hair done, getting your nails done. You can stop a lot of things. Um, cut out those subscriptions that you don't use, that you don't need. You don't need um, Netflix, Hulu and Philo. And what is the other one called that everybody be talking about? Peacock. Peacock, you don't have to have all of them because you can't watch all of them at one time. You can stop a couple of those for like a month or two and then you can build up, keep that money and save it. You know, you can save that money. So those are just a few ways. I don't know if that's what y'all doing or not, but I'm just saying. And then over here, I have what are my intentions? Um, because you have to have your intentions to grow. And I did put down a little quote here that I made um, for myself. And this is like um, 
Why do I want to create the dream of my life? How do I know I'm ready to start budgeting? It's just some questions on here and you just go through and you answer those questions. You can sit down and think about them, answer them, or you can just read them and whatever comes to your head, write it, write it, and then go with it. Those are your intentions. Okay, so we're going to move into our payment tracker. So these are the bills that you have to pay. And then I have the date, the amount, and if it's on auto pay or not. And then um, I have January through December here, and you'll just color in as you pay for the year. So this is all of your bills for the whole year that you can keep in one place and make sure that you're actually paying them on time and you actually paid that bill. So here is, this is kind of my favorite this is my my favorite so this is a spend or no spend i made a tracker because i wanted to keep up with everything in one place a spend or no spend so you have your um your days from 1 to 31 and here you can write in all of your months here i left them blank because i know some people like to write in their self like me and I did a little key here. So I have a spend day, a no spend day. Then I left a line here. You can write whatever you want to write down. Just like if you just had to pay a bill or something. You had to spend for bills or something that you needed and you had to spend money. So whatever you have to spend money on, I still consider that a no spend day because we have to pay our bills. We can't say, hey, I'm not going to I'm not gonna pay my bills because I'm having no spend days. Yeah. No, don't do that. So what I did for like your spend day, you can color code it. You can color in your circles here. And then once you get to, okay, just say we're in January. And I had no spend days on January 3rd, January 4th, January 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. So I would take the color that I put for my no spend and I will color in those days. I think that would be cute to actually color code those. And you can actually see like, okay, what am I spending? When am I spending? You can figure out your spending triggers. What are you doing at that time of the month that's causing you to start to spend more? Or what are you doing during the months that you don't spend? So this is a good way to keep up, keep a track of it all in one place. I just think that would be so fun for me. And then I did notes. You can write down a little note section. You can write down a quote, something that'll help you um, stay on track or whatever you want to put there. And then I did my goal dates. Um, I think I had this in my last planner. I think I did. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't quite have this actual format. I didn't. So this is this is new as well. So you'll just write down a goal for each month. If it's financial goals or, you know, family goals, personal development, your whatever goals that you feel like you want to write, you'll put it here. And you have just make sure you set a goal for each month. And I did put down a quote here as well. But everything that you see up here, which I didn't explain before, are directions to use this actual page. And then I did an annual savings goal. So you can put down just like I plan to save $20,000. So for my, let's just say for taxes, I know I have taxes for sure. I have, I can write taxes here, my goal amount when it's due. And then I have the number of months to save it, the monthly amount. The monthly amount that I need to save. And then once I complete it, I can write down complete. Yes or no. So, or I can write down complete it. But that's a, I just thought that was something neat to add in there as well. And then I have my important dates. If you want to put down birthdays. Or whatever you want to put down. <laughs> birthdays, anniversaries, your trips, your vacations. Anything that you feel like is important to you. You can write it here. And then I wrote, I did a monthly credit score page. So do you have your year here and then your goal? How much, how many points you plan on raising your credit score for the year? 
and then here I did for January all the way to December and you have your Equifax, your TransUnion and your Experian. So you can keep up with all of your your credit scores for each one of those platforms. And I found this, the reason why I added this in here and I don't know why I'm clapping. I added this in here because last year I worked on my credit score, y'all. I really really worked on my credit score and I'm going to reveal how many points I actually raised my credit score just from budgeting alone and I'm gonna tell you how budgeting actually helped me change a lot of things in my life so I did that and then this just to keep up keep track when it's going down when it's going up what you're doing to make it go up and what you're doing to cause it to drop or is it maintaining and then I put down here action steps to do to better or maintain your credit because sometimes you know we get to swiping them credit cards and don't want to pay them back and that do lower your credit score so you can use this to actually put down hey I need to stop spending it I need to start using that credit card I need to start paying it on time I need to pay it every month you know whatever you need to do you will do it here so I'm going to go through the inside of it. So this is my tab. I also created everything in this book. I created it, but this is, um, she began to create the life she dream of. And I just started off with purple and black just to give it that little oomph that I like. And then this is a quote from Les Brown. I love Les Brown. Y'all, if y'all have not heard him speak he's a motivational speaker y'all if y'all have not heard him y'all should listen to him but i am going to go ahead and get into this section here okay and like i said guys i had to go back and do some things and do some corrections to my planner so that's why if y'all see me skipping over some pages or something it's because those pages are not what i want to put right there so first i'm gonna tell y'all why i um actually had to redo this because y'all see this sunday y'all see how it's not in the middle that drove me crazy that drives me crazy and i'm not going to sell anyone something that i don't even like that i won't even use even though some people may you cover it up with the stickers still what if you don't have stickers to uh, cover it up so because some of y'all probably just write your numbers in so I just like, no, um, so it is actually in production right now and it should be here within a few days and then we will do another quick flip through. But yeah, I had to redo this all over again, but this right here is this month's holidays. You can write the holidays right here. Then I put some little sticky notes here on the side just for fun, just in case you want to write something. I love you or I'm proud of you. You got this, sis, whatever you want to write down there, something to keep you motivated. And I did leave extra space up here because I like to decorate my my um, layout, my calendar layout. Now, if you want to put your month on this side or put your month on this side, feel free. I didn't put a line or anything. And I like to, I'm going to use stickers. I know what I'm going to use. Stickers and washi tape is what's going up here all around here. I did do it undated as you guys can see that. But I did not put a box here as I have not. Uh, as you guys seen in all of my previous videos when I did my flip through for my A5 I never put the date or a box there because I like to add my number here and sometimes I want to add my number here so I just left it blank and I know some people like their numbers at the bottom corner so this is for you to do whatever you want to do I did start this with a Sunday start instead of a Monday some people like the monday start y'all they kind of throw me all off with my calendar because my calendar is my calendar y'all i'm sorry but i understand that some people want to have that friday saturday and sunday together for the weekend but i do have stickers and i'm going to actually try it this year in one of my planners and see how that actually works for me but i'm just thinking that it won't Okay, so this is my monthly goals. I bet y'all are saying, y'all need to hurry up and get through it. But yeah, these are the monthly goals. Um, so, and I did put a little quote here that is what's different. So you have your home, relation, finance, health, travel, spiritual, family, lifestyle, and career. This is from my 
last book as well. And then I have my budget planner, my monthly budget planner, and I just changed the font on that a little. And then, okay, this is right here is new. And this is what makes it the planner, actual planner, but I know some people aren't into the weekly layout but i am and i was thinking when i made this i was just going to make it for myself and i was like hey no i'm going to sell these so these right here i actually took out of the workbook but these will be available in the actual in the actual planner now if you don't see um when they are lunch, if it don't say budget and lifestyle planner, this will not be in there. So if you are an actual, if you are like a um, a planner babe like me and you want everything in one spot, this is the planner for you. But if not, if you just want to keep up with your budget, you will have the budget workbook. Okay, so but I'm still going to go over this because I love it so much, y'all. I, I just actually, I love this layout and... But I did pull it out. I'm sad about that. So, this just have your week, your week of. These are your days of the week. This is a Monday start here. And then the weekend is here. And the reason why I did it like this, because I do a lot of things on the weekend. Like, as far as business-wise, my cakes and stuff. I want to have everything right here so I can see what I'm doing for that weekend. I just wanted to try, try it out and see how it how it actually works so right here i did health is wealth and are you drinking your water are you exercising then down here is your notes um i think i skipped over this i have your top three goals your to-do list and then your priorities and then over here is your money affirmation i did a shopping list this week's money savings plan proud moments then i did a goal amount to save this week and then here I just did a let's dump it. It's basically the same things as your notes, but you can write, you know, a gold or whatever for the next week. And then I did be intentional because be intentional in all things you do. But I did keep some of this in my other planner in the next one that's coming out. I did keep it, but I did combine everything on one page. So, and then I have something else here as well. So I did um, do a lot of reconstruction once I got this. I did change a few things, but I just felt like it'll work better because I also have to think about the people that that's not actually planner babes. And I don't know why I love actually so much. I've just been saying actually. Okay, so you have your paycheck tracker and your cash stuffing tracker. You will get five of each. And these came in five weeks as well. So... So now y'all can imagine why it's so thick. I'm just going to flip through this right quick so y'all can see that it is five of each. Okay, so here is my expense tracker. I did switch this up and I added um, five instead of one. But my thing that I did right here is I wanted to just add one so we can kind of control the spending. But I know some people just need more room because you have to um, spend. You probably want to keep your bills here, you know, because it does say it's a need and a want. So you probably want to write your bills down. So like in the other book, I did add more. And then here I added a space for your spending trigger. So if you spent more than what you wanted to this week or more than you should have, you can write down why. There's been a trigger right there. And then over here, I do have a bill tracker. I like to see all of my bills in one place. Um, so you will go in and write your due date, who you're paying to, the balance, your minimum payment, your amount paid, and your remaining balance. This is really good for like your car note, your house note, your credit cards, or anything like that even with your regular bills if your light bill is $150 and you decide to pay $250 kudos to you and you can write that down and then if you for your card note or anything you just say you have $13,000 your minimum payment is 300 but you paid a thousand and your remaining balance is now $12,000 so I think you, this will be um, very useful and everybody can 
utilize this if they want to. If you don't want to use it as a bill tracker, you can use it as your debt tracker because that's what I normally, no, no, I'm telling the story y'all because that's not what I use this for. I have an actual, um, a debt tracker that I use separate from this, but I did use this a lot as well in my other planner because it is in that other one. And then right here, I just did my monthly closeout. I always do these closeouts at the end of the month. Um, I do my videos where I go in and count my sinking funds, what I have saved for the month, and that way I can keep up what I did for that month. So basically, that is all that is in each one of these um, sections. And we will go and I can show you the tab so I can jump into this happy mail. Um, so this is a save your money now and it will save you later. And then I have here, if you can't afford to buy it twice, you can't afford it. Here it says the only thing I address come with deeds because <laughs> no nonsense this year. None at all. If it ain't a deed, I ain't talking about it. Okay. And this one right here is went back to my traditional purple and um, black with a little gold in here. I, yeah, I had to do it. I just couldn't resist it. Um, but this says, um, your year, this, I don't, this says this year, your bank account will increase beyond your belief. Y'all claim it, claim it. We doing a lot of claiming and manifestation in this, in this planner. Okay. So this one just basically says it's a, um, if I know y'all can see what it is, it's a purple rose y'all. I just purple everything up in here. It says wealth isn't about having a lot of money. It's about having options. Don't let that go over your head, y'all. Don't let that go over your head. And then this one right here is kind of, I think, my absolute favorite. Um, it says I am a money magnet. Money flows easily to me. This is an affirmation that I use all the time. And I want you guys to actually start using this um, affirmation as well. And see how it changes your life, y'all. See how it changes things for you. And this quote says, I have a good relationship with money. If you don't have a good relationship with money, you won't do good with your money. Point blank, period. And this one is, you know, traditional black and silver. Is set goals and crush that ish. Set them and crush them. Don't stop until you crush them. And if you guys haven't... um seen my goals video y'all can go right up here y'all listen where is it at right over here it's right over here every time i use this um stand i get thrown off okay so and then this section right here is just save now spend later y'all know this is my quotes and i like the color it's colorful and this right here says budget is my jam I know budget is all y'all jam. I know y'all love that. And then right here is our trackers. And I am going to flip, but I'm not going to let y'all see this page because this page is not what's in there. Okay, so I put your debt payoff trackers back here so you can actually keep track of it. Not everyone have debt, so I didn't put it in the month, uh, the monthly section. But I did put it back here and I did do two. So you have two on one page. It's your debt payoff. Um, and just like the other, your bills, what is your bills tracker? You have your due date, your balance amount paid, um, your remaining amount, and when did you pay it on? The date you paid it on. I had to stop to think about why did I put that paid on because I put the due date and I want to make sure you are, you are, um, actually paying it on your due date. That's why I put that there. Your due date is here and then the actual day that you pay it on. So you can see your pattern and see if you are, you know, paying late, if you're paying on time, before time, you know, cause that'll help your credit as well. So I did put five of these in here. And that is a total of 10. I did a subscription tracker here. I did a 52-week check. 
I did a 52 week savings challenge here and I did leave it blank because I wanted it to accommodate any and everybody, no matter what your income is. You can write it in and color as you go, put your start date and start completing and then your total savings. So you can create this according to your goal or according to your income. And then I did do the 100 envelope savings challenge. Now in this one, it has the numbers on it. Now in my other ones, I took the number completely off because like I said, I wanted any and everybody to be able to use these trackers and not just have them sitting there because they don't, um, they don't make this kind of money or they don't, they don't think they can save this kind of money. So I did, and I just have um, blanks here where you can actually write in your own number. So that would be helpful for any and everyone. I do have my savings tracker with the heart. You can write down your reason, what you're saving for, how much your chart is and your gold, your start date and your finish. And then I did 530 days. And I want to say... I did, okay, this is what I did. I did switch this one up as well. I did 500 in and I just, instead of putting 30, I let put a blank there and just left it blank in how many days. So if you need to save 500 in 200 days, you can write your 200 days right there. However many it's going to take you to save that $500, but the numbers and everything else is the same. And then I have that save that money savings tracker. And then you can write in whatever you want to put in. A little progress each day adds up. If you want to do it each day, each month, you can do that. Then you have your amount and then your goal date. And then here I have a 30-day self-care challenge. So I numbered them all, day one, day two, day three. And guys, I'm not sure why I have the box here. Don't even ask me. I guess to check it off. Okay. You can check it off if you if you finished it. But this is my thing with this. I would use, I would write in what I want to do, but I would use a pencil to check it in. That way you can go back and erase it. Because you can use this over and over every single month. Just because it's one, you can use this every single month. Um, you just basically write down day one, um, you're going to drink water. Day two, you're going to exercise. Day three, you're going to eat a salad. You know, whatever you feel like is self-care to you because self-care is kind of different to everyone. Self-care isn't always going to get manicures, pedicures, or whatever. Reading a book can be self-care. Filling out your planner is self-care. That's Self-care is a planner to me. When I'm doing my planner setups, y'all, that is really self-care for me. So you guys can fill that out and i think that would be something great as you go along with your budget journey i did add a folder here but i took that out in the other planner so that is out and then i have my black back cover which is the same as my front and then i have of course me on the back but guys that is it for my planner i hope you guys love it i know that was a long long flip through and I did a lot of talking, guys, because I was so excited. I'm so excited for this. This will be up on my, it's on my website, but it's for pre-launching. Um, I'm not sure as, I don't have a date as of right now, but I know I will probably by next week. I will have the date on when I will actually be able to launch those and start shipping them. So, be on the lookout for that. I'm going to drop my new website down in the description and you guys go over there and sign up for the lunch date It's going to lunch like within a few days from today i'm going to have that website fully launched so you guys can go over there and if you want to go ahead and pay for your planner just to get it paid for i'm only going to have so many i'll have a, a limited amount that i ordered for this first go round so go ahead and get those ordered i will also have the digital download to this as well the digital download will be more color in it i will have a color and i will have a black and white i just decided to go back black and white with this one just to try it out you know get my feet wet see how everything's going, gonna go but yeah that is my planner and i hope you guys enjoyed it because i did 
Okay, Queen, so I'm going to stop this video right here because it is extra long. The second part of this video will be on another video. So make sure you guys go ahead and catch that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye.